everyone, I'm Sana and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm back with another Plan With Me video for the month of July. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I post videos every Friday so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. For this month's theme, I decided to do a mixtape related theme. I really wanted to keep the theme simple but with an added feature that would kind of be the defining point of my entire theme. I started out by making a simple cassette tape and wrote July with the tape that comes out of the cassette. Like I mentioned, I wanted something slightly different for this theme rather than simple cassettes which is why I decided to use these tapes as a very significant element in all of my spreads. I also added musical notes and you'll know my favorite thing in this world, 4 point stars, to fill up the whole page. I don't know what it is with me and 4 point stars but they just make everything look good. For the color palette, I decided to go in a pastel direction using pastel pinks, blues, purples, and greens. For the coat page, I started off by making a small band. This is kind of like a label people use on top of cassettes. And the code that I used is actually a lyric from the song Moonlight from D2, the mixtape that Yumi dropped recently. This whole theme is kind of inspired by the mixtape and the vibe it gave, so if you're a BTS fan, this works for you. And even if you're not a fan, you could just use your own favorite lyrics instead. Anyways, the lyric that I used says, A lot has changed in my life, but that moonlight is still the same. I used musical notes and 4 point stars all around the code to tie in the whole theme together before moving on to the next spread. The next spread is my calendar spread. I started off by making a cassette to the right of the page and a bunch of tape falling from under it. Right beside it, I wrote July and I made a list style calendar. I did this layout for June and it really worked well for me which is why I decided to try it out this month as well. These days when things are moving forward really slowly and not a lot of events are taking place, I feel like this type of layout helps me be productive and actually get things done. To the right of it, I made a schedule page. This is the page where I list down all of my content I will be posting on my social medias. Recently, I've been working really hard to post better content on my socials, which is where this spread comes in handy. To the left, I have a section where I can write video ideas, and on the right side, I have a schedule for my content. This month, I decided to section out this table with a social media icon along with a small description. This will help me decide what kind of content goes on what platform and it also helps me keep track of it. I like planning my posts as soon as the month starts and last month I found this super helpful. So if you're looking to organize your socials and track them better, I'd highly recommend you try this out. On the bottom left, I made two overlapping cassettes. These are my growth trackers where I track Instagram and YouTube followers. I usually keep track of these two socials only but maybe in the future I'll add more socials to this tracker. After filling out the social icons and scattering music notes and stars all across the page, I moved on to the mood tracker. For the mood tracker, I decided to use a simple lazy cursive font as the header and made 31 cassettes, one for each day. I really tried to keep the design different for all the cassettes so it doesn't look too monotonous and I'm not gonna lie, my hand hurt really bad after I was done with all of these cassettes but it ended up looking pretty nice.
I feel like filling the whole page with small stars and musical notes really made the page look more complete. I then made a small color code on the bottom left using pastel colors that I had been using earlier on. For the habit tracker, I made 6 rounded squares with the tape across on top. I've been using this habit tracker for quite a while now and I feel like it's getting a little boring. So I'll definitely try to find a new layout for this. But if you guys have any new layouts that you guys follow, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to try something different. So after I made the trackers, I decided to add a few musical notes below on a string of tape and added a few notes and stars here and there to make it look more cohesive. For my expense tracker, I started out by making a cassette tape with the tape falling out of the cassette. From one tape head opening, I made the tape falling downward and from the other tape head opening, I wrote the word expense. It's a bit difficult to explain it with words but I'm sure it's self-explanatory as you see it. My expense tracker has been pretty standard ever since I started using them. I had the date, description and a plus minus section. This really comes in handy for me because I'm super forgetful and this is just a way for me to track whatever is coming in and going out of my account. After filling in the page with musical notes and stars, I moved on to the gratitude list. Just like the expense tracker, my gratitude list has also been a constant ever since I started journaling. It's been a very important spread in my journal and it's also a great way to keep yourself positive. I started out by making a cassette on the top left and divided the page into two sections where I would be filling out my gratitudes. Since the bottom section was slightly empty, I decided to add two cassettes there. For me, the tapes were a significant element throughout this month which also helped me connect the spreads. I wrote gratitude on top and used a few tapes below the cassette to make it look more cohesive. The next spread I decided to make was a playlist spread. This spread was solely dedicated to the mixtape D2 where I made the layout of a playlist. I used the album cover for D2 as well to give it the perfect playlist look. You can of course use your favorite mixtape or even your own playlist. Once I'd made the play and shuffle buttons below the album art, I added all the songs in the mixtape in the order they are. And since I had some extra space on the left, I decided to add a cassette with a tape below it. I added musical notes and stars all around before coloring it in and moving on to the next page. I 
wanted to use this page to add another lyric from D2. This time I used the lyric, nothing is permanent in this world, everything is just a happening passing through, from the song People. This is also one of my favorite songs which is comprised of the most beautiful lyrics. I made a variety of musical notes all around the lyric along with my special 4 point stars and I added a tape across the entire page. For the first weekly spread of July, I started out with a cassette on the left of the page. I then made two boxes. The box on the right would consist of days of the weeks where I would be writing my daily task. The left box is something that I recently branched upon where I write what I want to accomplish this week. This kind of helps me streamline things for each day and break it down rather than being confused and trying to do it everything in just one day. I again used the tape technique that I'd used before to write July and I added a few musical notes and stars all around. For the second half of the page, I followed the very same layout of the boxes. Sometimes it's important to see what's working for you rather than aesthetics and I feel like that's the case for me in my weeklies. This is a layout that has been working really well for me recently, which is why I've been using this layout very often. I made a cassette tape on the bottom right section as I had a bunch of empty space. For the top, I wanted to connect the two pages, so continuing on from the tape that wrote July, I extended it over to the entire spread, adding musical notes on top of it. Of course I added small notes and stars all across the spread to make it look much more interconnected and with that the theme for July came to an end. I really hope you guys enjoyed this theme, I had a lot of fun making it. It really spoke out to the music lover in me and I'm sure that if you're a music lover as well, this theme would work really well for you. Do let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it and leave a like and share it with your friends as well. If you happen to recreate this theme, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, I'm sanaRZB. Do make sure to tag me so I can feature you guys in my videos. Thank you so much for watching, please take very good care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!